So the Berkshire Novices Chase next then, and as we are in Newbury, which is in Berkshire, then that's a bit more apt than Worcester for the last race, wasn't it? So let's hope this one can be as um, dramatic as that last race was. And it's a two and a half mile grade two this time, so fantastic for Joshua Sutherland at the top. Chestnut Surprise, Paul Rose, Clandes Obo for Ghost Zappa, St David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck, Torfian Street for Darren Thompson, Gemini Sweet for Martin Leadham, Hollywood Broke the Gate for Derek Hinton, Insomnia for Molly Ed Surfer, Nevertheless for Carla Agante, and Winter Port for Jim Morris. So ten this time meant. Away they go, and let's see what happens with the pull ups in this race after the dr dramatic pull ups in the last race. So, nevertheless, then. Is the first to show. Well, Clandes Obo coming up on the outside. Well, as John Morgan horses like to lead this season. Well, he's dropping that one back. And St David's Day is second as they take the first of the 16 fences. And they're all safely over that one. And uh, nevertheless leads. And it's quickly into the second, which is a ditch. A uh, slow jump at the back by Fantastique. But nevertheless shows the way to Winterport in second. And a little shimmy that they all seem to do at that point in the Newbury track as well. Which, oh, we've lost one there. St David Day is gone. So St David's Day is over. And nevertheless is the leader from Winterport second. Oh, Winterport, they have that one an almighty wallop. And that one shuffled that one down the pack a little bit. But it's nevertheless who is in the lead. As they take the water jump. That will be the last on the next circuit. This sort of strange version of the Newbury course where we take the water as the last fence. It's a little odd, but it's nevertheless it's something we have to put up with as they come past the winning post with a complete circuit to go in the Berkshire Novices Chase. And nevertheless leads by about five lengths to Clandes Obo in second. Winterport is third, the loose horse has got the rail. The Molly at Surf Horse Insomnia just trying to cut in a little bit. Tucked in behind the loose horse is Gemini Sweet. Next to that one is Fantastique. Hollywood broke the gate wide on the track. Inside of that one is Torfkin Street and the back marker is Chestnut Surprise. So just a little over a mile and a half to go and as they take the sixth and they're all safely over that one with nevertheless putting the pace to the race. I don't think they're going as quickly as they did in the last race, which may have been the reason for the pull-ups of course this is over half a mile shorter as well they're not going as quick as they did in the last so nevertheless is in front as they take that ditch and another one a bad mistake there by Winterport and the jockeys exited the side door after the fence he made a mistake it looked like the jockey was going to stay on board but he's bailed out a couple of strides after the fence and they're now down towards the eighth and they're all over that one so there's pull-ups in the last race it's fallers in this one and it's nevertheless in the lead from Clandes Obo second. Insomnia is third and then Fantastique is four. Dwarfian Street is next and the leader and the second both made bad mistakes at that one. And this is a wide open race if the jump is going to carry on like that. There's a little more than a mile to go. And nevertheless is in the lead from Insomnia and Clandes Obo. Then Fantastique and Hollywood broke the gate. They all jumped that one much better. Gemini sweeps the back marker. But it's nevertheless in front from Clandes Obo second. Then Fantastique and Insomnia. Hollywood broke the gate. He's getting closer. Torfian Street is running a nice quiet race on the inside of that one. Chestnut Surprise is getting closer. And Gemini sweeps now finding the pace a bit hot. Now it's got a little bit quicker. But it's nevertheless in the lead. Nevertheless less from Clandes Obo in second then comes Fantastic Torfian Street looks to be running a big race then Insomnia Chestnut Surprise is creeping closer Hollywood broke the gate now under a bit of pressure Gemini Sweet trying to tag on at the back six furlongs to race and nevertheless takes the 11th in the lead but here comes Torfian Street on the outside Insomnia Chestnut Surprise is also creeping closer as well the race is now beginning to change complexion as they begin to swing towards home in this long Newbury Strait and it's nevertheless in the lead from Clandes Obo second now Torfian Street being asked to quicken. Then comes Chestnut Surprise and Insomnia. After that one, Hollywood broke the gate trying to run on. Gemini Sweets out of shot. They're over the 12th. And nevertheless hangs on to that lead from Clandes Obo. Hollywood broke the gate is next. There's the final ditch. That's the 13th. And we've, did we lose one there? Yeah, Fantastic is gone. But it's nevertheless in the lead. Nevertheless leads from Torfian Street. And Hollywood broke the gate. Chestnut Surprise on the outside. That's the third from home. They've got two more to take. And nevertheless it led all the way. But he's now being pressed and overtaken by Torfian Street, Chestnut Surprise on the outside. This is the second last. And Torfian Street powers into a three length lead. Just the water left to jump then. Inside the final two furlongs. And Torfian Street three lengths clean off. Chestnut Surprise. Nevertheless, over the final fence they go. And Torfian Street is powering away. Chestnut Surprise is trying to chase it. There's still a furlong to go. Torfian Street, Chestnut Surprise.
Reese too quickly between her. As they race inside the final half, foot on Torfield Street trying to hold on. Chestnut Surprise trying to wear him down the outside. Chestnut Surprise is beginning to get up. And Chestnut Surprise is going to take it on the line. Chestnut Surprise wins it. Torfield Street second. Candice over both third. Insomnia four. And Hollywood broke the gate. Was fifth. And Chestnut Surprise wore down Torfield Street through that final furlough and just got up on the outside. Torfield Street looked all over the winner at one point. Chestnut Surprise wore him down though. And it's a purple patch for Paul Rhodes at the moment. He had a quiet start, but he's back. Uh, let's get a full look at the result card as it comes up chestnut surprise for paul rhodes takes it torfian street for darren thompson second clander's oboe for ghost sapper was third insomnia for molly at surf was fourth and hollywood broke the gate Hollywood well for fifth Derek hinton uh, poor old nevertheless led all the way and ended up just out of that money